Yeah, um, when I got fell in love with Sunny, she was a baby and she was in a tall 40 gallon tank with uh, four normal male ball pythons and she was always clinging from the air vent up in the top on the back of the tank every time I went in the pet store and she was never off that back wall so I bought her and brought her home uh, she is very head shy now she's five years old she's been handled tons just as much if not more than some of my other snakes but she has that response that something in her past to me I think has affected her mentality and her instincts because she always flinches she always ducks and no matter how long you've had her out she still retreats and tries to hide now it's typical with ball pythons thus they're named ball pythons because when something startles them they curl up into a ball but it really makes you wonder do they remember bad experiences they had when they were young and does that leave that kind of impression on them for the rest of their lives? In spite of the fact that you handle them, and they're very calm being handled, is something still going on in there that they refuse to let go of because they were abused or neglected or felt threatened or traumatized at some point in their life? I've always been really curious about that. Now, see, she's used to being handled and worked with. So she automatically tries to hide from you when you go to pick her up. And this girl is handled a lot, an awful lot, but she still got that timid behavior. And I've seen a lot of snakes that are like that, that work with a lot, that act like that. And it just makes me wonder, did something happen in their past that really hyped up their instincts to a point that they feel like they have to constantly defend themselves to protect themselves, even though they've been handled a lot. And I could see it with a snake that's hardly ever handled and worked with. But you take one that's out almost every day, that response is still overwhelming for them. And they just seem to never relax with anyone. So, you know, I think instincts play a vital role in that and something that happened to them in their past. You can turn around a snake that's aggressive, that's been abused and neglected. I've seen it. I've done it with some of mine that were rescues. But it, it still makes me wonder, did they really forget? Do they remember why they were defensive all the time? It takes a lot of work to turn a snake around like that sometimes. You know, I, I can honestly say they're forgiving animals because they really are. Mine that were rescues that were in terrible condition when I got them are now the biggest, sweetest snakes ever. But, you know, it's really something. I wish research would do a lot more work science would do uh, test do the appropriate tests for snakes to prove more about them what they're capable of and their capacity to feel emotions to respond to different stimuli there's just so many things that are unchartered about snakes because i've even heard scientists make the comment that we don't have the right way to test them to answer these questions to prove it one way or the other and you know you only have one other choice if science can't find a way to test them to dismiss the myths and to confirm the facts about them then there's only one other way to learn and that's through watching people that raise them and have ex a lot of experience with working see the least little movement she's gone But I don't know what happened to her in that tank with those four other male normals, but she just, she's nothing like my other ball python. She's like constantly on guard. But yeah, you know, I wish, I wish science really could find a better way to test snakes to prove these things about them. Now people say they tolerate people. They tolerate being around people. I put up tons of videos showing that's a lie. But then again, it depends on how you raise them and how you, your interaction with them. But none of my snakes are mean. None of them strike at people when they walk up to them. They're very sociable animals. But, you know, it, it's a matter of you. It's not, you know, you're, what you're doing is for the snakes. But it's not really all about them. It's about you and the time you're willing to invest 
and your dedication, your ability to observe everything you can about them, and everything I show in my videos is exactly what goes on in my life and my relationship with them, and they're used to it. Now you're going to go hide. You can't go hide over there. You'll get lost back there. But, you know, I would really like to see more tests done, you know, research done on snakes so people could really accept them for what they are. Now, I'm not talking about venomous snakes naturally because I don't keep any venomous snakes. There are a whole different variety of snakes that, you know, I can't really include in most of my conversations or discussions, but I'm just talking about in reference to your everyday most popular pet snakes like pythons and boas and corn snakes. But these are all interesting topics and I really wish they would find... It'd be so easy to dismiss all the lies about snakes and all the accusations and all the crap the media's put out to try and get views and raise their what, viewers and you know it it's all about points with them it's about money it's about popularity and the process they're lying about these animals based on what they believe to be fact and that shouldn't be the way it is it should be everything's out there yeah i just have issues with the media period because they've done so many negative things about snakes in the past i've seen them take a perfectly beautiful positive video and re-edit it and cut it and change it around so they want it for their own purposes and most of the time they use it to scare people and gosh we have enough people now we're trying to show that snakes aren't deadly creatures uh, per normal they aren't but if you abuse them or neglect them but it's really interesting topic i really like to see a lot more research done on snakes you get what ifs or possibly could be's but it'd be really nice to see someone do more work on them you know more testing the thing is i don't know why they can't find a way to test them for certain areas and specifics about their lives and how they function the that's why i don't do care sheets because Everything is general information, and that doesn't apply to all snakes because each snake is different from each other. They're not the same animal. Boas and pythons aren't the same. All boas aren't the same and don't act alike. All pythons aren't the same and act alike. So I really think it'd be great if science would find a way to do more research on snakes. They know they can here, even though they don't have external ears. They've really followed up on that really well. And I've read a lot of things that I really approve of that explains that to people. But regardless of how they hear, the fact remains that they do hear. And science has proven that, but people still insist they can't hear. Now, if they prove that to you, and you've seen it and read it, then why do you still deny it? Even though they don't have external ears, researchers prove that they can hear. You know, it's not about the method that they do it. That's the issue. It's about can they hear. And yes, they can. My snakes know their names. If I call one by name, his head will pop up and look right at me. So, you know, they can hear. But I really would love to see the myths dismissed about snakes. It's the lack of education, lack of information, lack of facts that keeps people fearing them and hating them and... Yeah, I'd really like to see that change for these animals because they're really magnificent animals. You're just out to get under that. Those are the corn snakes, honey. You want to go see corn snakes? They're right there. See them? They're in their hive. Yeah. But she never strikes at anyone, but she's just very defensive. And I can't help but wonder, is that all genetic? Is that inheritance? Or is that something that happened in their past that really traumatized them and they never forgot it that being the case if it works that way then they do have a memory 